Welcome to Yemi's Kitchen. Today we are cooking the Ghanaian series. I am cooking the wache sauce. Wache sauce is just like the Nigerian offered as you. What do you need for wache sauce? We are going to need pieces of protein. Here I have my chicken and the beef already cut, goat meat, chicken and fish. And here I have my ribs. My children love ribs, so I have fried it so they are all ready for the sauce. I have the onion which I'm going to use to fry the oil here. Then this is my garlic ginger paste, which I have done. I'll be uploading the recipe very soon. It's part of which I have done. I have done a series of paste. So I have the garlic ginger paste somewhere. I don't need to use garlic and ginger in my blending of pepper because I've already done this in the paste. And these are all you need in your pepper sauce for an African food. You need a bell pepper, which color, whichever color you like. For this purpose, I'm going to use 10 red bell peppers, 10 tomatoes, 4 onions, 1 green pepper. I just like the green pepper because it's sweet. And we're going to be using garlic and onion, which will be in my paste. And my shallots. I'm going to be mixing my shallots with the red onions. You are going to need some boiled egg. I have 10 boiled eggs already here, which have been boiled. I'm going to peel it and put it in the stew. You have a choice of either using the chicken bouillon or the beef bouillon. For this sauce, I'm going to be using the chicken bouillon with the red tomatoes in it. I like this because it's red and the regular chicken flavor bouillon powder I'll be using for this sauce. And we are going to be using just a little bit of sauce. Oil. My oil is in here. I have oil that I've already used to fry this protein i'll be using it when i cook so let's go to my part i have blended my pepper i've shown you what's in my pepper earlier on the bell pepper onion tomatoes i'm cooking it because i want the water to come out before i start to make my watches stew. i want to reduce this uh, pepper blend i want it to be dry when i use it for the watch sauce the consistency of watch sauce must be thick so I put my oil on the stove in my pot. It's hot already. Here I have my chopped onion and my shallots. My ginger and garlic paste. Tomato paste. I'm going to stir it till I fry it. You know, I have to fry it till the, uh, the sour taste of tomato paste go out in it. You need to be here to perceive this smell. It smells so good in here. Onion in oil is wonderful. It brings it to another notch. Now we're going to let it cook for like five minutes. Then we put the blended pepper in the oil that have the onions. You have to be careful. You don't have to, you don't want to leave this sauce for a long time without stirring because it will get burned. It's almost burning right now and make sure your stove is on medium heat when you're cooking this sauce. So now I'm adding the blended pepper inside the sauce. I'm going to be right here frying it and I'm going to need a little bit of more oil. Just to let you know, off the camera I put three spoons of oil, which is the oil I use in frying the chicken and beef. That is my oil gold because it's seasoned already. Now I'm getting ready to season it with salt and the bouillon powder. So this is my tomato bouillon powder, a teaspoon of regular chicken bouillon powder and the tomato bouillon, tomato chicken bouillon powder too. Now I'm going to taste this before I start putting my salt. Be careful when you use salt and the chicken bouillon, it can be too much. So you have to taste your, your food. It's so good. It looks yummy. You need to be here. Perfecto! A teaspoon of the salt. Make sure that heat is not much. This is my Cameroonian pepper. A spoon of my thyme. Curry, which I'm putting is optional. You don't have to add the thyme and curry. This is my choice. Okay, 
washi stew or nigerian pepper sauce sometimes needs a lot of oil and when it's done the oil gets up then you can take off the oil for it to cook right and properly you need a lot of oil to cook the sauce it's called fry sauce for that matter that's why you use a lot of sauce a lot of oil right now i should be putting more oil but i refuse to put any more i'm going to let it cook for like five minutes then i'll start putting my protein in it here is my protein which i have fried already the fish the chicken the cow skin the goat meat i'm going to let it cook for like five minutes then i'll start putting my protein in it here are my proteins which i have fried the fish the chicken the cow skin the goat meat, I'll let it go for a while. Here's the eggs. Don't forget that the sauce, the sauce pepper has been cooked before. You don't need for it to stay too long because it's been cooked before. You have to be careful because this is splashing all over. Wow. Voila. It's smelling so nice in here. This is finished. Perfecto. The sauce you can see is separated from the oil when it's cooked. You need to, to let it be like this, then you know it's cooked. The oil will be separated from the sauce. Now, if you want to take your oil out, you can. The eggs on one side because I don't want it mashed and dis disintegrated in the sauce. So you have to be careful with the boiled eggs. So this is my watches stew, Ghanaian style finish. Whoa! This turned out to be very good. I am so proud of myself. It looks so nice. It tastes so good. So if you stay with me throughout this cooking throughout this episode i want to say thank you so much if you like what i have cooked share with your family if it's good for you it's good for your friends to share 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 and don't forget to follow me on my social media like subscribe follow press the notification bell so that my next episode you can be notified thank you for being my friend don't forget happiness uh, happiness is a choice I always do cut my glass half full. Choose to be happy. Your host, Yemi. Perfect, easy, watchy sauce recipe. Love you. Mwah!